Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the HMA and D1 crossover. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the HMA and D1 crossover. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 45 different strategies, with 12 of them being winners. We have also tested a total of 505 indicators, with 209 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. Keep in mind that we test all these strategies and indicators on the Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. All right, so today's indicator is the HMA and D1 crossover. You can see it here on the bottom of the screen. So it started off being up here in the price action. So if we go to these three little dots right here, click that, we go to move to existing pane above. This is how it originally looked and it was, uh, I'm not sure what the default setting was. What was it? Uh, default period of two. And so we changed the period to 30 to give it this kind of setup right here because it is based off of a moving average we tested all the moving averages on a 30 minute or a uh, 30 period and so we're kind of stick with that on this particular case well tested all the moving averages we could on a 30 anyway all right then we go and we move it down to uh, the pane down here below makes it just a little bit easier to see and so the setup on this is when we get the uh, cross of the uh, black line. No, it's kind of hard to uh, kind of hard to distinguish between the two here. Let's see if we can do this. go so I think those are going to be the ones we are looking for so let's see let's change those to blue like that there so when we get the cross of the blue line uh, crossing up above the black line then we are going to go long when we get the cross of the blue line crossing down below the black line then we are going to go short. All right, so that's the setup that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this.
All right, so we get our first cross right here on this one. Uh, it is a short signal, and you can see price action pushes down pretty nicely there, getting us to take profit. Then over here on this side, we're going to pick up a long right there on that one. We haven't played this out enough to know where it goes, so let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so that long right there played out for us pretty well, took off nicely, getting us to take profit. Then we picked up the short right here on this one. Once again, come down pretty nicely there, getting us to take profit as well. All right, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and fast forward the testing. That way things don't get too long and we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that puts us at the end of the year right there. Before we add these up, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in excelling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon-only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon-only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, trading philosophy in general. Our admin, Jay, and some of the regular members post regular market analysis where they put up screenshots of charts where they've marked out areas of support and resistance, indicators that they're using, exactly when they're entering trades, exiting trades, taking profits, the whole deal. They're growing small accounts really quickly with the information that they're putting out for everyone to see. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested that we have recently had transferred over into an Excel sheet. And so you get access to the Excel sheet and the PDF of all the indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. And you'll get access to a Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested. That shows exactly which strategies were winners, which ones were losers, their win rates, as well as links to go back and review those individual videos. And another new thing that we've been doing here recently is one of our other members has put together a small handful of profitable optimized indicators that we are giving away to all the patrons for free. So there is a ton of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. Okay, so back to the indicator here. You can see that it gave us quite a few signals there. focus all right there we go let's go ahead and count these out and see what we get out of them so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine forty forty one 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Whole bunch of them. All right, so we have 60 trades all together, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 winning trades. So that is nowhere near the 60% criteria that we were looking for. Uh, this was an interesting indicator. Uh, I think I might play around with it a little bit in my free time, see if we can't test it in a, another way. Um, but 
in theory, basically what this is, is it is a moving average is one uh, is the black line on the indicator and the blue lines, the lines that have changed to blue in the small cloud there is basically the, uh, I believe the open and close of the candles. And so really what we have is a modified indicator to show us the uh, price action break of a moving average. And so uh, if, um, you know, based on that, if, if history is any indication, then it is not going to do very well as we've seen many times with the moving average price action break. So uh, this one is going to go on the no list for now and we will move on to the next indicator from here.